Think of any big, very highly influencing figure in the world that hundreds of millions are following and put Jesus in that context. And you are one on one with the person going up and down. And the person can suddenly say, eh, see, I will die. I will leave you guys. If I look at the scripture, I can actually solicit and advocate on behalf of Peter in the court of the scripture. Peter was right in the flesh, but he was wrong when it comes to the will and the plan of God. How funny we can be at times that we are right because we will try to reason supernatural things in the flesh. Because the things of the spirit sometimes can be senseless. Do you know later he told them, he said, my death is to your advantage. That if I don't go to the Father, you will not receive the spirit of the Father, which is the comforter. Look at what Peter turned out to be when Jesus died and resurrected and left. Do you know he couldn't do that? Do you know when they came to arrest Jesus, all of them scattered, disappeared. Of course, you will not find Thomas. Peter that tried that came near. And then the dancer, small girl came and said, I swear, if I've ever known him, may all my generation perish. When the cock crew like this, he started weeping bitterly. That means it's not what he wanted. So for people who interact with just world and not the spirit of the world, you will always have wishes that can never come to pass. But look at what happened to Peter. Jesus said, you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you shall be my witnesses. So for three and a half years, they were not Jesus' witnesses. So when they went out to preach, they were not witnesses. So when demons bowed down for them, they were not witnesses. When your life is completely sold down for Christ at a level of consecration, witness. Guess what? When he resurrected, he taught them about the kingdom for 40 days. 10 days, he told them to go and pray. He did not receive the spirit of all that Jesus had been teaching them. Don't forget, he said the spirit will come. It will guide you. It's called the spirit of truth. It will guide you into all truth. I always say Christians are lazy. Do you know the laziness of Christians? It's not because we are not hard working. It's not because we don't have hand work. It's not because we don't use our brain. The work of the work for believers is spiritual work. That you take the word of God, the promises of God, and you start brooding on it, and you start praying, and you start meditating, and you stay in there three hours, four hours. You retreat personally by yourself, and you are not a pastor. The people that want to confuse your life and destroy your life, do you know what they are speaking? Do you know what they are saying into the atmosphere? Every now and then you just sleep like a giant elephant that has lost his consciousness. But see what the disciples turn out to be. When the spirits came in Acts chapter 2, <laughs> Peter that denied Christ. Peter that Christ told after he resurrected, he said, love me more than this. Hey, I love you, feed my lamb. Love me more than this. I love you, feed my sheep. Love me more than this. Ah, Christ, now you know now. I remember the other time when I said it. Now foul, finish me. Look at the same Peter. Unprepared salmon. won 3,000 souls. Just like your unprepared company can receive $300,000. As God make people catch souls the same way he demonstrated to us that they should also catch fish what's your own fish now if it's not dollars 